Hello, welcome back. I am Nom Nom, and this is part three of the Dupe Shelter Oxygen Not Included playthrough. Uh, we have here our thriving colony. Uh, last time we wrapped up, we ra we finished up this farm. Um, we got automated coal power going here to not waste any of our precious coal with the smart battery. Um, Let's see, I think uh, we've yet to find a geyser, and we've punched this hole through the ceiling here, um, which we might pay a little more attention to today. But I also want to get an electro electrolyzer set up and running. Um, I think I can get rid of this extra farm tiles here, these planter boxes. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen or so. But I have like 26 of these, and they're going to be in a uh, farm tended by a farmer pretty soon. So I'm going to wait till these harvest here in 5% of their growth cycle, and then deconstruct all these planter boxes. We have the toilet plumbed out. We are collecting our polluted water. Uh, once we get a decent reserve of that, I will probably start using it to sink heat through a water sieve, which will help the base from overheating. Um, I often fail to account for heat. It's starting to get hot over here, too. Uh, and have farm failure, which can lead to colony failure. So I also want to get a wheeze wart and a cooling loop over here um, to help prevent that from happening. And for that, I'm going to want hydrogen. So I think my main focus is going to be on a electrolyzer setup up here in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and just build it out and then we'll see um, see how much of it we can get to building. All right. Going to need some room for all the equipment. It's not a small setup by any stretch. And I'm already messing it up. Ah, uh, okay. Airflow tile. Here we go. Real tile. I'm going to go ahead and do these out of iron instead of copper. See some stepping stones there. Uh, up here, I'm going to box that in. All right, so what we do here is we throw down. Uh, we don't have the equipment. <laughs> All right, so we'll start with the ventilation. We're definitely going to need a gas pump here, and I'm going to put two down here. And, of course, we need to power everything. All right, so uh, I do need to research. Apparently, I, that's not research. I do need to research the air systems right here. That should go fairly quick. Let's take a look at skills uh, since I did click on that jobs board. We need crop tending. So Ellie, that's you. And Ash can keep cooking. Marie, um, hmm, improved carrying, I think. Lyra, second hard digger, I guess. Yeah. And Gossman, more art. Uh, which means I should probably also research artistic expression pretty soon. All right, so uh, electrolyzer build out. So I want my dupes to get in here and carve out some space here. And they can also come in this way. And they can come in this way. Clearly they had nothing better to do.
We're also going to need Okay, uh, so how this is going to work is I'm going to have two electrolyzers. They're going to be pumping out oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen will float up, being lighter than the oxygen. We get pulled into this pump. This pump will then pump into a reservoir, probably, and a hydrogen generator. Down here I'll have two oxygen pumps uh, set with some automation, which I don't think I have yet, right? So they will only pump when the pressure is over a certain uh, amount. Um, so they will not consume more energy than they need to. Uh, same thing, I'm going to have some automation up here in this electrolyzer setup so that the hydrogen pump does not pump when it does not need to. We don't want it pumping constantly. All right, they did finish uh, air systems. Um, I need some automation, so I'm going to go straight for advanced automation here, which is going to also get me advanced power regulation. Yeah, they really had a lack of tasks. They're getting right to it. Not necessarily a bad thing. I'm going to cancel these doors here because I made them out of copper and I didn't want that. I'm going to go with iron. There we go. The ones that I did make out of copper, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I guess just one got made out of copper. Still have eight tons of copper and I haven't even excavated all of it, so I think we're good. This water has dropped fast. Oh, I pulled a vacuum down there. Interesting. And how are the gases doing? Uh, CO2, this is my uh, CO2 sink that I've been talking about <laughs> since cycle one. Uh, this is working out really good. Oxygen pressure is good. Obviously, where I just dug all this out, the oxygen is still flowing into there. Uh, we are using uh, algae for everything, and we have 15 tons of algae left, so we're good for a while. We also have a lot we haven't dug up. Um, I really can't dig this up if I want to keep those shine bugs in there. Um, that's interesting. Oh, are they glum? They're glum. When they're glum, they don't give off light. Uh, so, <laughs> why are they glum? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a feeder in there if I can. Uh, I cannot. I need to research the critter feeder. Maybe they're... So, glum... Oh, they're overcrowded. Hmm. Well, I can make this room a little bigger. Maybe that'll help. Can't make it that much bigger, but I can make it a little bigger. Send somebody up there to do that. All right, the printing pod has dinged off. Uh, let's see what we've got going here. Ooh, mirth leaves. I want mirth leaves more than I want any of those people. So I'm going to uproot this and uproot this and uproot this. I think it was three mirth leaf seeds, right? So I don't know if you can tell, uh, but I changed my audio settings. Um, four of them, okay. I turned down some of the game sound so that I was easier to understand in here. Um, and there's a lot of like that tick, click, rrrt <laughs> noises going on every time I would draw something out like this. It was louder than my voice. So um, I have adjusted some of those game sounds. If the game sounds are too quiet now, let me know. I can I can tweak that. I'd like to like to know what you think. I'll also be listening to this in post-production and uh, and make adjustments as I feel necessary. All right, over here, hey, they're not glum anymore. Yay, they're giving off light. Um, so that's my bristle blossoms are growing. My volunteer bristle blossoms are growing again. Um, <laughs> again, with the easily distracted, uh, these things are almost 70% grown on the next cycle. So I basically ignored them for two cycles after I said I was going to dig them up. 
Um, I'll try not to let that happen again. And here we have some earth leaf. Let's see how that is affecting. Where? Polluted oxygen. I'm not seeing any uh, floral scent. Well, we'll find out if over time it gives off a floral scent. I hope it does. The buddy bud does. Not sure about the mirth, mirth leaf. All right, now I'm paranoid. I'm going to miss these again. All right, how is this going, guys? All right, you got to dig that up, too. Put some tiles in here. Well, I was worried I'm going to get water in that corner tile, and then they're going to build these two corner, uh, kitty corner first, and then water will be trapped in there when they build the tile, and then it destroys the water. So I'm going to wait to do that one last. And it looks like I have a lot of sweeping that I need to do. Um, I'm going to add some storage down here. to handle that. Alright, looking good. I'm going to put a airflow tile over here uh, so if any CO2 builds up over here it can fall down. It'll fall down into the farm. Um, I guess that's okay. I will dig this out. So that if it comes into the farm here, it'll fall down here. Millwood can actually grow in CO2, so it doesn't hurt it. Um, that's going to be fine. Low on pressure. Uh, speaking of CO2. All right. Uh, I also love to get a mushroom farm going down here, but I still do not have any of those mushroom spores there's dust cap um, I don't see where I can get some without getting a lot of germs uh, this isn't bad actually maybe I'll make a little risky excursion into the wilds of the slime biome grab myself a couple of dusk caps and get a dusk cap farm going That'll be nice. The musk caps take slime, which I have none of, but I will get some on my way over there. Um, instead of dirt, uh, they just produce a lot of food. Come on, finish this one. Finish it! Alright, my electrolyzer set up. Okay, oh, up. Oh. Hold the phone. Destroy! Not going to let that happen again. All right, my electrolyzer set up. Uh, I can th slap down my electrolyzers. I need to wire them up. And I need to plumb them. All right, this... Needs to go there. This needs to go here. No, not there. Okay, there. And I'm going to throw a gas bridge here so that these two can feed into the same pipe and stack. All right, above here, I'm going to want the gas reservoir, which I don't have yet. So how are we doing on research? All right, we're almost there on advanced automation. Uh, okay. I want this bad boy right here. So I mentioned earlier that I'm going to go from um, temperature modulation. I said I was going to then go for environmental protection and HVAC. Uh, I'm going to go for HVAC first. 
as soon as I'm done with that advanced automation. Then probably refined objects so I can get some fire poles. Help out with some travel time. All right, they finally finished all these. Everything except critter eggs. If you put critter eggs in storage, uh, they just spoil and crack open. Um, and I want them to keep hatching. So um, Organic. I don't think I have any slime yet. I do. I don't want slime or rot or polluted dirt in there. Pretty much that goes for all of this. So I just copied settings across all of those. All right, dig this out and then dig this out. I'm gonna need to put down a couple of tiles here. And I'll go ahead and just dig out and targeting this gold amalgam there. I can do all that. Okay. How are we doing on water here? 563 kilograms, so that tile's about half, a little more than half full. And we're wrapping up cycle 30 here, so I'm going to go ahead and call it at 5. Make these videos a little shorter and a little more frequent. Um, I'm still polishing my video editing skills, um, so I'll continue to work on that. Um, and I think the smaller videos uh, small, are a little more digestible for me uh, at this point, and that'll help me uh, be able to deliver even better content. All right. Electrolyzer setup is looking really good. It's going to need some power. Like I said, I'm looking for that hydrogen generator, which I also believe I oh, I do have. So I can put that up there. Um, I'm going to move it off to the side over here with its own smart battery. I'll have to dig that up. I'm just going to dig all of that up. Uh, but we're not going to dig into that chlorine because that would just be bad. All right, that's the end of cycle 30. Pausing it here. Uh, we have not accomplished as much as I had hoped. Um, we did get uh, some more research done. In fact, I will go ahead and just queue up the next bit of research. I got that advanced automation done. We got straight into HVAC. Because I did get that automation done, I'm going to plan. Plan? Where is it? Ventilation? New automation. I am missing something. I need thermal sensor. No pressure sensor. Where's the pressure sensor? Right there, the Atmos sensor. I need improved ventilation so that I can finish it and HVAC so that I can finish out my electrolyzer build. All right, so that's the plan going into the next five cycles. Finish out this electrolyzer, reduce our dependency on our 15 tons of algae. Um, probably start a dust cap farm since we've now unveiled a few dust caps. Um, and it looks like another cold biome. All right, outstanding. Uh, until next time, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed what you see here, and I will talk to you guys in a few days.